Hey guys, welcome to the Men of Iron podcast. This is Garrett Barbush, and if you've been following along, um, you know, last week we spent our time kind of highlighting a few things from the last 11 years um, here at Men of Iron from 2011 through 2022, and I'm going to continue kind of on that journey today, but if you haven't listened, go back to that last episode, you'll get some clarity and some context for why we're doing what we're doing, because we're not just kind of sharing memories, but we're tying everything back to the lessons that we've learned, how we can tie that back into mentorship, tie it into our journey as men, manhood, right, accountability, all these things that are so significant for us, spiritual growth, balance, right, all these things are important to us for our manhood journey. Uh, I kind of cut off last time with 2015, and and I want to fast forward a little bit into 2017 because this was really a, a critical time for Men of Iron as we were starting to really invest and and growing our team as far as the number of employees, and, and we were taking risk, right? Like we were we we didn't necessarily know how this was going to play out, but we knew that we needed to build the team, we needed to add more team members in order to keep up with the impact that God was making in the lives of men. And, and I remember making this distinct decision, like this distinct memory of making this decision to say, this is who we're going to hire and, and this is our plan and we're going to hire this person in quarter one, we're going to hire this person in quarter two. And, and really it now felt like at Men of Iron that we had this team and there was, now we had to worry about culture, right? We had to worry about what values or is our organization going to live by. And it was really a, a journey of just really starting to understand more and more about who we were. Uh, we made investments into bringing in uh, some outside counsel in regards to kind of cl- firming up our messaging and, and our values and uh, the things, our website, like it was a heavy, heavy year of investment that I look back and I remember kind of being nervous to say like, we don't necessarily have all this right now, but like we believe that it's going to come and we're going to do everything we can to get it. And we're going to do everything we can to make decisions that we feel like the Lord's asking us to make. And so I, I want to practically just share, we, we grew the team that year. We, we did a simulcast of our mentorship training camp, which required a lot of uh, investment into technology. And, uh, we reached, uh, on one day, like I forget how many men, 350 men across the nation that, uh, in the mid Atlantic, I should say that, uh, tuned in for our mentorship training camp. And we did it live in Lancaster and we simulcasted it to different locations. And it really was, it was like a huge risk that we took financially. It was a huge risk from just a, uh, a strategic initiative that we, we implemented. Um, we actually filmed in this, around this time frame our mentorship training camp. Like we filmed it, we, we produced it. We, we took time to write out and, and, and film it and just everything that was involved from 2017 to 2019 really was a heavy, heavy years of investment. And it wasn't always investment that we necessarily had right away, but it was vision, right? We believed in the vision that God had given us. And I even remember, um, the significance of our first, like really, really big donation in that time frame. But I want to just step back and say, what is the lesson that we can learn about taking risk, right? Because from men of iron standpoint, we had to take that risk in order to make more impact in order to reach more men in order to grow in order to scale. There's some level of risk that has to be assumed that has to be taken. And I think that's the same in our life as men, right? Like there's going to come a time where we as men are going to need to take that risk. Now we can't be taking hazardous risks, right? We can't, we got to think through it. There's a right way. There's calculated risk, right? That we, that we take. But the bottom line is many of us never seem to really be willing to get uncomfortable, And if you've heard this podcast and you've been part of an equilibrium retreat before, you know all about that tagline, get comfortable being uncomfortable. I mean, that's really what our spiritual life is all about, right? Is to get comfortable being uncomfortable. And it's something that I look back and I look, um, look back just the journey of men of iron and tying it back to manhood and say, yes, like in order to grow, you've got to get uncomfortable. You've got to take those risks. And so that's what my encouragement is to you. Now on the back end of all this risk that we took, right, came our first really, really significant donation outside of our board of directors. And I'll never forget making the pitch for a $50,000 donation and sitting and talking to this family and, um, sharing the vision about what God was doing 
and realizing that um, at the by the end there was a yes. It was like a yeah, we're we're on board. And uh, I kind of left there. If I'm really honest, probably thinking like, man, I don't know if I asked for enough, right? And so I learned a valuable lesson there. Is you know, people want to be generous, guys. People want to be generous, and people are willing to jump on board with the vision when the vision is clear, when it's succinct, when it's when it's uh, when it's big, when it's Holy Spirit inspired, right? Like. People want to be generous and people want to jump on board. That's lesson number one. Lesson number two is we have to be willing to be generous. We have to be willing to take those risks. We have to be willing to support the vision and mission that God has given others because it's the only way the the kingdom moves forward. It's the only way the kingdom multiplies. And so I, I look back at that season from 2017 to 2019 and it was all about taking risk. It was all about receiving generosity, right? And, and being really encouraged by the generosity of others and really growing the team, right? Bringing more and more and more people into the vision. And I think if those three things are happening in our life, if we're taking risk, we've got people that are being generous and supporting that risk taking on our end. And, and then all of a sudden more and more people are being impacted around, um, the mission around the vision or around that vision that God has given us, man, we know that it's God's hands at work. I look forward to building off of this podcast next time. We'll see you guys soon.